Hey guys, Dagara here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on Season 7 Episode 18 of Fluffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm hopeful that this is going to be a cracker. Got my fingers crossed, I'm wanting to get stuck into the nitty gritty now because there's not many episodes left and I do be sweating. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and get stuck into the reaction. Here we go guys. Is that Dawn? No. What's going on? Get me out of here. Was someone hurt? Oh, I recognize him. The dude from Castle, right? Nathan... Something or other. <laughs> Thank God you were there. Well, let's not give him credit for everything. Billion, I think. Look, I don't mean to pry, but those boys, they looked like, well, you didn't happen to fall in with devil worshippers, did you? Is there some place you'd like me to drop you? You headed someplace? Sunnydale. I'll go in there myself. Why are you going to Sunnydale? Call me Caleb. Shannon. Is this going to be a potential? Tell me why those freaky Joes were after you? I'm not sure. Oh, do you ever think that maybe they were chasing you because you were a whore? Do you know what? I knew it as well. I knew it was going to be Dodger. I'm not here to lecture you. I mean, what's the point? The words just curdle in your ears, head filled with so much filth that... Drop and roll. Drop and roll. Well, you know what you are, Shannon? Scared? Dirty. What? I'm not. What now, now, no, no, no. There's no blame here. You were born dirty. Makes me puke think too hard on it. You make me puke? And of course, there's my boys back there. Well, they hate to miss the mark. Your boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like backseat drivers. No. Please. He's gonna brand her, isn't he? Well, now, is this the part where you offer to do anything? You got nothing. I want to explore. <laughs> yeah. God's sake. Now, that's a cleanse of fire! Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's a car a little ways behind, and I do believe there's some folk in it going the same place you want. Now, I want you to deliver a message for me, but it's not for them. It's for the other one. Would you tell her something for me? Yes. Thank you, Shannon. What was the point in branding her and then killing her? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Can you talk? Oh, okay. So it's Faith and Willow, not... This girl's bleeding badly. We have to get her to the hospital. I guess I'm back in Sunnydale. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I wonder how Buffy's going to react seeing Faith again. I know it's hard. I haven't been able to sleep the last few nights. She's not going to send you into battle until she's sure you're ready for action. How will I know I'm ready? I'm so scared, Sander. And I'm so young. What is this? There's just so much I haven't done. I never had a real boyfriend, you know? Is this his dream? I've never been with a man. This is definitely a dream, right? And I've never been with a man. I've never been with a man before either. Rachel Bilson? What are you doing here? I've never been with her in front of a man before. I've never been with her in front of a man either. <laughs> Gulp. We're so scared. <laughs> the other oh, this is making me so uncomfortable. The pillow fight. The standard pillow fight. Which is what we all do when there's a sleepover. Pillow fights just come in clutch every time. Damn it. What's going on? <laughs> there's also jello fights. Nick has a stomach flu and the mud wrestling. Wet t-shirt competitions. You name it, we do it. I got you guys. I got you. <laughs> you sure she's one of us? Seems to fit though. Something's killing girls all over the world, trying to end the Slayer line. Thing like that, figure I might get a heads up. You were in prison. We figured you were safe there. Yeah, that's prison. Safe as a kitten. Did something happen in there? Someone came at me with a nasty looking knife. Didn't really know why until now. It's nice that she's brought that up, you know. I, I guess we should find Buffy, tell her what's going on. I really want to see Buffy Faith scene. Maybe you meeting Buffy alone. Yeah, that's going to be 
Awkward. She knows I'm coming. I bet she doesn't. Yeah. Oh, she does. I'm sure we'll all get along just fine. Famous last words. Another potential. What you want to do to her, Vamp? Huh? Nice punch you got there. You must be Faith. Oh, goody. I'm famous. Bit of a misunderstanding here. I'm... Spike. Have we met before? I don't think we... I'm on your side. I've reformed. I reformed way before you did. You were attacking that girl. <laughs> Sorry, Faith. I didn't realize that was you. You okay? Yeah. Are you the bad slayer now? Am I the good slayer now? Yeah, the soul. Oh, he's like Angel? No, I am nothing like Angel. Yeah, well, if he's so good, what's he doing chasing down defenseless? <laughs> That's one of the bad guys. You should make him wear signs. <laughs> I do love watching Faith fight. Angel's dull as a table lamp. <laughs> Anything else I gotta know? Nice to have you back. Whoa. Ooh, her hair looks very different in this one. Got a spare bed for a wanted fugitive? Hello, Faith. Guess wanted wasn't really accurate. Does she have to stay here? Check it out. Brat's all woman size. Not all that tension was about you. Charles was part of a plan to kill me. He's had a haircut. I like it. That makes me feel better about me. Kind of shaky about you. <laughs> Drink of this, for it is my blood. Weird looking blood. You'd think they'd actually get something that looked like wine. Our blood. Gotta be cranberry juice. Just looking for the Lord in the wrong damn place. Looking for the Lord. And then you showed me the light. Do you think I'm God? That said fur slash Buffy then. How do you like what I'm wearing? Just another dirty girl. Look hard. Strength. And... Is it me or does Buffy just look so different? Like... <sighs> You're her. The slayer. At long last. All the work I've done for you. Blowing up the council. Oh. That was him? And you'll be meeting her soon. Yeah, she'll get the message. And what makes you so sure she'll come? Curiosity. Killed the cat. I offer her an apple. What can she do but take it? Adam and Eve. The snake in the grass. Faith. Her name alone invokes <laughs> awe. Faith. Oh, I love Andrew. Faith was seduced by the lure of the dark side. She wrapped evil around her like a large, evil Mexican serape. <laughs> Such a good descriptor. But he was immune to her trail of destruction. Not even the most pacifist and logical of races. Is that Spock? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I thought Faith killed a volcanologist. <laughs> Why would Faith kill a person who studies Vulcans? He studied volcanoes. Ah. Easy mistake to make. I'm doing this anymore. Making up stories. Oh, bloody hell, she's back. This is true. Except for that possible word misunderstanding. She's a killer. Never forget that. You look better. No, I don't. But I'll be okay. Unless, of course, you start beating up on me now. You still look really, really good, though. Okay? Really good. As far as I'm concerned, we're on even ground. I meant what I said, but I need you in this fight. Thanks. So we're good? Absolutely. You're fired. What? Effective immediately. But I just refrained from kicking your ass. Buffy, there's nothing here for you. I mean, people are leaving town. Half the kids don't even bother showing up anymore. Here, look at the big picture. Hmm. I don't want to lead them into war. What else are you going to do? Couldn't I just come to work part-time? And you're fired again. The mission's what matters. <sighs> Painful. You craving a moment alone in the dank? Or can a bum one? <sighs> right. It's not what it looks like. And I'd be I've like... been dangerous for a while. Oh, these, these have got chemistry. I like it. Not in that way. I just mean, like, in scenes together. You had the power to walk away any time. Nothing to stop you. I stopped me. I got dangerous for a while. I've met you before, you know. 
Yeah, you made a great impression on my chin. Not in the graveyard. Before that, I was kind of wearing a different body. You seemed okay with it. Oh my god, yeah. A swap with Buffy. It took me way too long to figure out what she was on about then. It's like one of my favorite episodes as well. I may have said a few things. Like you could drive me at a gallop to my knees buckle, squeeze me till it pop like warm champagne. Should have known I wasn't Blondie behind the wheel. She'd never throw down like that. Oh, you have been away. Don't even tell me little Miss Tightly Wound's been getting her naughty on. Not of late. <laughs> Everybody's just full of surprises. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it's nice to see you two getting along so well. Hey, aren't you usually at work about now? I kind of decided to cut back on my hours. That and she got fired. The girl's awake. Oh, I wonder what she said. Because he did whisper something to her. He told me to give the Slayer a message. I have something of yours. Mm hmm. He's got something of mine. I'm getting it back. And you guys are coming with me. Okay, so what do we think that he has? That's hers. We need to start arming the girls. I want to be ready to move when we find him. And you're certain this is the best course of action? You, you don't even know what this man has of yours. Going in anyway. With the girls? Most of whom have, have yet to be in the field. Then it's time we test them. They really are going against each other, these two. He lures us away and then kills the girls we leave behind. That's why I need you to stay here with them. You're my most powerful weapon, Will. Buffy, this thing's got a trap written all over it. We cannot go into battle unprepared. Giles, we don't have time. And you're not going into battle. Help the girls who still need a teacher. Oof. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Why did you come back? Willow said you needed me. Am I getting you want me to be not here? No. That's not what I meant. I'm glad that you're here. Willow said you helped out Angel. He says I. How is he? Better. I had to do this whole magical mind walk with him. You were in Angel's mind? Buffy. We just found our hornet's nest. You just found a cult. Don't go for the flashy tentacles just because they're waving them about, trying to get attention. I don't want there to be tentacles. I'm not good with squishy. Please stop giving her lines. <laughs> Sorry, that's very rude of me, but... You people are even crazier than her. She's annoying me as well. Okay, Buffy doesn't care how many of us she puts in Let danger. Me that's a lie. Why are they all so annoying? She's laid down her life literally to protect the people around her. This girl has died two times and she's still standing. I've seen her heart, and this time not literally. And I'm telling you right now, she cares more about your lives than you will ever know. You gotta trust her. She's earned it. Same, Andrew, to be honest. Damn, I never knew you were that cool. No, you always were a little slow. I love them two together, and I always had, have, sorry, have. Oh, I got, I got quite emotional then. Good speech, Sander. Well done. You've still got it. Okay. So they're in the right place because the barrels are there. What is this place? What is this place? Rangers are here somewhere. Just need to find out where. Shouldn't be too hard. Oof. They're actually getting some first hand experience when it comes to fighting. Well, now. Well, well, well. You girls are just burning with righteousness, aren't you? Now, I hope my boys haven't worn you out too much. I need you fit for when I purify you. Save the sermon, Padre. Purify? I heard you have something in mind. Like <laughs> squeeze me? I do now. So you're the slayer. The. Strongest, the fastest, the notion of goodness. Same spike, literally, like, what is he going on about? <coughs> Ooh, right on the back of the head. What else you got? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this dude is strong. I do believe you have your own problems you should be worried about. Right, lots of yelling. Lots and lots of yelling. Oh, good. There's more of you. Well, you're the other one, aren't you? The came to her, Abel. Never was much for the good book. What 
a waste of wine. Dirty folk. <gasps> no! Oh, please kill that one. Get them out of here. I work in mysterious ways. What a shame. Let's go, come on. Let's go, come on! No! <gasps> No, 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 no. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Spike, please. No! No, no, oh my god, no. Holy shit. Now, it's a simple story, and this one's got a happy ending. And she was foul, like all women. Oh, I can't bear this guy. She didn't know the good news. The glory that was coming. Although glory. Can we get glory back for this? And all they have to do is take one more step. And I'll kill them all. I told you it had a happy ending. Oh my Jesus. I have never been more feared watching a Buffy episode than this one right here. Let's minus the whole Joyce thing. Rest in peace. The moment that he got hold of Xander, I could feel like my anxiety just through the bleeding roof. I can't have these characters dying, guys. Like I'm just, I'm not prepared. I'm not ready for it. If it's not bad enough that the, the show is ending, please don't cripple me in the process as well. You know what I mean? My guess is Xander's lost his eye. One eye. He's still got the other one. Love that for him. So I'm going to assume he's just going to wear a patch. And he's going to be okay. Right? Maybe Willow can do some magic and bring that sight right back. I don't know. But I'm just glad that he's alive. And he didn't just get his head crushed in. Or his neck snapped or something. They did lose a couple of potentials there. I can't say that I'm going to be crying about it. Um, feel for them. Obviously, I do. But at the same time, they just irk me because it's like they're not understanding the severity of the situation at all. And then they just want to complain all the time. Like, if, if you're in that situation and you've physically seen it, so you know that everything's real. You've had time to adjust. You've had time to train. And you're not taking that seriously. Oh, what is wrong with you? Okay. What is wrong with you? I don't... Don't get it. So I think they needed this first-hand experience of fighting and being on the front line, so to speak. And yes, some were lost in the process, which is very sad. But also, they need to be prepared for what they're up against. And they've seen it now. So, hopefully they go on the stance of, I am going to get revenge for those that you've taken from us, and not the, I'm going to run away scared now. I don't know which version we're going to get. My worry is that it's going to be the latter one, just because of how these potentials have been so far. Uh, but I think as well, seeing Xander getting hurt, should hopefully make them understand that they do care about them. It's not like they don't care. It's just you're in a shit situation as, as it is. And you've just got to do your best. Because they can't deny the love that Buffy has for Xander. And vice versa. Yeah, Xander still got hurt. So it's not like they come off unscathed and they're using them as pawns or sacrifices. Like they can see that that's not the case at all. Which I think is important for them. I loved seeing Faith and Buffy in scenes again. I've always enjoyed those scenes. I think that the chemistry between them is undeniable. They just bounce off each other perfectly and they have a lot that they can relate to. Uh, being Slayers, going through what they've gone through, the relationships that they've had and they've got a lot of differences as well. So it, it still adds to that uh, interesting factor they're not just carbon copies of each other they've got very different personalities but they have things that they can relate to and it brings them together a lot of times and yes they clash 
we've seen many a fight of the two of them and Faith did indeed lose her way. Also, while we're on that, Andrew's like catch up of Faith was just chef's kiss. Like it was hilarious. I loved the montage that we got. I loved that he was getting confused with Vulcans and volcanoes. I just loved it. It was hilarious. And he is just like a fan. He's like all of us. So it's a yes for me. Uh, and I also loved seeing Faith and Spike in scenes. I think the like bad boy-esque vibe that they have, or bad girl, shall we say for Faith as well. But the chemistry is there yet again, like for lack of a better word. And when she said that they met before, I was like, have they? Have they met? I don't think they have. Of course they did when she was Buffer. Like it took me so long. They had to practically spell it out for me to <laughs> to remember that, which is so frustrating because that is one of my favorite episodes as well. So I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, her saying like, oh, you must have known that that wasn't Buffy for him to say, actually, you know, and the shock on her face, like, but also she seemed quite impressed by it, which just makes me chuckle. And then the jealousy of Buffy when she walks in, like not enjoying the vibe that's going on. It's like, please, please don't go there like you did or tried to do with Angel. Thank you very much. Uh, but it is kind of hilarious that Buffy always seems to get, with, <laughs> get together with vampires. Apart from Riley, obviously. I've just watched a full season of Mark Lucas in Life with the Walter Boys and really enjoyed it. But that's a complete side note. Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to see Riley in this. Like, again, end of the world type situation. Need all hands on deck. Riley, my guy. Where you at? Also, can they not at least have a conversation? Obviously, Faith did with Angel, like spoke about Angel, but can we not have like Buffy, Willow, ex Willow explaining everything that happened over on Angel? And why have they not even requested a potential help from Team Angel? Obviously, they're going through their own thing, so I doubt it would happen. But just a you know, we're going through something big right now. Any chance? Sorry, we're also going through something big. You know, just a connection. Like, there's not a discussion there. End of the world, guys. And yes, I know that that happens quite a bit. But at the same time, lean on those that you can rely on. Please. I mean, maybe it'll happen, like, later on. Obviously, I assumed that Faith would be in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and she ended up being an angel. So I like those twists because it keeps me on my toes. And I love seeing the characters reacting to Faith's arrival. Like Dawn being really standoffish, not approving of her at all, being extremely cautious and protective of her sister, understandably. And then Giles, like, not at the best relationship uh last time she was around but also understanding her history and everything that she's been through can we talk about the tension between giles and buffy as well like holy hell they're just butting heads left right and center like they're, they're not agreeing on anything the tension is high and it makes me uncomfortable also speaking of being uncomfortable the dream sequence that Xander had it's just I feel like they the writers give Xander these moments that are just eye roll moments like real bad moments to then amazing moments like that speech that he gave about Buffy and him being all protective and it's like why writers <laughs> why are you doing this it's like they want to remind us that he's like quote unquote the typical bloke but then they're like, no, no, but he has a heart, guys. He has a heart. Remember? Remember the massive heart of the show, Xander? Like him. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird one. Obviously, I do love Xander and he, I think he's amazing. He's just, yeah, it makes me chuckle. This guy, this big bad that 
this minister that we have. He has something of Buffy's and he's also stupidly strong. And he loves referencing the Bible. There has to be something else going on there. Where has he got these powers from? Did the first provide these for him? It sounds like he's been doing bad for a long, long time. And I'm wondering if he's going to be like something similar to Gloria. Like Ben slash Gloria. Because there's a connection, guys. Remember? Uh, so I'm wondering if he's going to be along those lines, like some sort of god. Or if he's Cain, Abel, Lucifer himself. I don't know. But he took so many people down with ease. He's definitely the strongest villain that we've seen. Like he did not break a sweat. And Glory was extremely powerful. And they still managed to defeat Glora. So I'm hopeful that they can take him down. But I'm still nervy that we're going to lose someone in the in the process. And it better not be Buffy. Again. Please and thank you. Cracking episode. Feel as though things are getting really warmed up now. They're getting heated. I'm terrified as always. After every single episode that I watch of this show. I'm more and more scared. I really enjoyed the episode. It kept me fully invested. Like even the stuff with Buffy and Wood as well. I think it's needed. And it was not, like, just a nice moment. They're, they're wrapping things up. They're not leaving things unanswered. Which I approve of. And I appreciate a lot. So a few more episodes to go. Terrified as always. But enjoying it i want to thank you all for watching my reaction and if you enjoyed it as well don't forget to hit that like button and maybe subscribe to the channel if you could be so kind but as always there's no pressure here all these and their extended and early upload versions over on patreon so if that interests you check them out i could have probably said that a little bit better but we're gonna roll with it a massive shout out to all of my members and my patrons and a special one to those in the market chain tier you guys sponsoring my content it's just utterly amazing and i cannot thank you enough i hope everyone has an amazing new year 2024 let's hope it's better than 23 we've been saying that for many years now <laughs> but let's hope that this one is the one and yeah i hope to see you all again soon for another video thanks so much guys Goodbye for now. And before we completely sign off, let's quickly take a comment from the Dat Pack. And today I've chosen Adam and Adam says, Wow, I forgot how great this episode is. You make a great point, Dakara, about how Spike, with a soul, is only now processing certain thoughts and memories that he was unable to properly face before. Season 7, Spike is just so fascinating. Great reaction and analysis as always. And thank you so much, Adam, for watching, taking the time to comment. I appreciate it a lot. And yeah, for me, Spike is one of those characters that is very complex. And you can't just take things as they are. There, there's so many layers to him. And now that he has this soul, I, f I truly feel like he's been able to process all of the damage that uh, he's gone through prior um, because he just he was turned and then he just sort of had to deal with it and especially when it comes to his mom like that is rough that is a rough thing to deal with and yeah he's been soulless for many many years and you, you can't blame him for being damaged going through that and having no soul is it's only gonna emphasize the trauma basically uh, and yeah now he has this soul with time he can slowly process everything that he's sort of been through in his life and it's been a long life so it's gonna take a long time but yeah Thank you so much, Adam, as always, for watching. And don't forget, guys, if you want to see one of your comments at the end of these videos, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And maybe yours will be next. But until next time, goodbye for now.